Hey guys, this is Inko from Why So Gollum, and this is the highlights video for Clan War number 48. And uh, this was against a clan called Lost Boar Botones, which a clan name I have just murdered. But getting to the stats, you can see we got perfect war. This is a 25 on 25, uh, one size we've done in the past, but perhaps uh, um, something we're looking to do more in the future and even bump it up to 30 versus 30, but it was uh, fun. It was really fun. Um, fun from an aspect of, from the get-go, the calling, everybody, you know, really pulled their finger out, got all their calls done very early on, which is brilliant to see. That's what we really want to do, uh, war after war. And then the first attacks, um, so many three-star first attacks. It was insane. Um, and we... Um, and the cleanup was efficient. People were calling, attacking within the two hours of uh, calling, which is what we want to do, uh, everybody to do as well. Um, so all in all, uh, just a smooth, smooth war. And it was uh, um, against uh, we've, the first time we faced a, a level eight clan, and uh, we, we've got the perfect victory. So uh, well done, guys. Really impressed. And uh, please, let's keep it up. So without further ado, let us get into some of these replays. And this is the first Clam uh, War Highlights video I've done in a while, so I'm going to keep it short and sweet. This is Jay uh, attacking his mirror opposite number one, uh, and it's a Town Hall 9. Uh, and he is set up for a Go-Ho Wee Wee. Gets the easy lure in the north there, um, and uh, doesn't expend too many troops on this, just, uh, just that single barb, and he goes in for a double poison. Thing to note, guys, please... Uh, uh, bear in mind that you need to uh, let the first poison expire uh, before you drop the second heal. Uh, sorry, the second poison. Oh, I just got a pop-up message. Ongoing recruitment drive, and uh, we may have another member. But uh, anyway, um, so yeah, because uh, the poisons don't stack. So and that is, uh, you know, he's got rid of that. So drops his golems and a CC golem at the uh, south points and uh, sort of follows up with wizards, trying to follow, funnel, uh, sort of sort of funnel that central bit so he can uh, arc his uh, BK off to kill that um, archer queen, um, and he's got uh, under the, the sort of guard of uh, the golems, he's got his wizards coming in as well, just to get rid of the trash buildings and those point defences. So Archer Queen is down, and then you're going to see these uh, surgical hogs come in. So, got those heels down in a in a really super place. So uh, the hogs are pretty much kept full health for a, the longest period of time possible. Still got a heel remaining. Going to drop it just down for the, towards these Teslas and where the Expo is. And then it's just a case of uh, using the remaining Wizards. And uh, guys, a point to remember is, uh, although you use Wizards for funneling, it's always good. Always good practice to keep a few Wizards in the in the sort of bag towards the end uh, so you can they can help on cleanup. And that's uh, just in case, you know, the, the, your hog pack gets uh, caught by a random randomly placed giant bomb or you know something like that because uh, they are mean ass bastards in cleanup and they uh, take down those trash buildings in pretty pretty ricky tick I don't know where the hell ricky tick came from I think I must have watched an episode of the unit uh, recently uh, so apologies for that I don't know. random random stuff going on. Uh, first time I've ever done a video in the evening and uh, I think sleep deprivation is kicking in. So I'll try and keep the muttering and uh, waffling to a, to a minimum. Um, so Harry's uh, first attack number two, uh, he, he sort of caught, uh, came up a cropper. Uh, it was a difficult base to hog. Uh, gave a huge amount of uh, information to Heisenberg for his attack. Uh, so this is the one the sort of second attack on the base, which is a cleanup, and it's a variation of a go vaho. Uh, it does the quad quake to get rid of that sort of core, well, open up the core, uh, and he will use a single, a couple of wall breakers to uh, get the get the um, perimeter wall down. Um, uses a hog to lure, 
uh, these, this enemy clan uh, favoured a hog over a balloon in the CC. Um, uh, it didn't really work as well as a, a loon. Loon's predominantly there for um, slowing down the sort of lure pace, but uh, hog didn't really cause any trouble whatsoever. I, I, I'm, I don't see any point in using a hog in your CC. You know, if you guys know something that I don't with regards to that, please uh, let me know. But yeah, so drops the golem. Uh, he's going to be using the wizards for funneling. Obviously, with Valkyries, uh, they are notoriously difficult to funnel. But uh, he's he's making a nice wide funnel there, uh, and the Valkyries just have only one place on their mine, and that is going straight into that core. Drops the BK. Probably going to drop the hogs coming in from the south side. And you can see, look, I mean, look at how many, how many sort of point defenses are pointing inwards there. Because of, he's got his kill squad in that center, and they have got absolutely no idea uh, that these hogs are coming in. And just tearing it up, tearing it up. I mean, you see how late, how late uh, Heisenberg delays his first heal. And that is purely because that golem is taking so much sort of hits from uh, all of these defenses around the base. Still not drops his hill. So, really, really nicely planned and executed attack. And you'll see in a second, it's a good job he did keep his uh, hogs healed up in the, uh, to the end because it, he, they do catch a stray um, giant bomb on this east side as they go out now. But because they were fully healed, doesn't matter. And uh, this random test row over here uh, gets what's coming to it. And that is all clean up. So, good attack. Well done, Heisenberg. Nice three stars. Right, next uh, replay. I mean, there's so many brilliant attacks that I could show, but uh, I'm sure you guys don't want to be here for 20 minutes. So, let's. I'm going to be a little bit sort of... Um, uh, selective. I will show you this one. Uh, this is PGX. He came in, uh, took out their top, uh, top number three bed base, and good use of uh, haste spell here. And uh, this, I mean, this base is uh, set up. There's not really too much sort of uh, thought that needs to be done in terms of cuts for funneling. It's uh, drop these guys on the north tip, and uh, the, the the dragons are going to come down in a in a pretty smooth fashion. Uh, but I do love the way he's um, got the rage there when the CC dragon comes out and, uh, you know, makes his uh, haste spell, uh, gets those loons straight into the core pretty quickly. So I'm speeding up a little bit. Loons come in, drops the haste spell on the uh, outskirts, and they're going to travel inwards pretty fast, and then they, they catch that rage. So brilliant placements, um, and they, they, they just fly straight into those ADs. So really good, and uh, CC Drag Under is taken care of uh, with these Drags Under Rage. Uh, skelly Troops, uh, Airborne Skelly Troops, no problem for Dragons. Um, pain in the ass for uh, uh, Balloons, but uh, Dragons just, uh, you know, s uh, swipe them aside. Uh, and that is done, that is, this base is um, flawed, and I'm going to speed that up because that is just a, a case of the... Clean up and their, their sort of Tesla that they loved putting over into some corner. Uh, Pre-patch, great idea. Uh, Post-patch, 30 seconds is a long time. Doesn't really matter. Um, so it's a waste. Might scupper a, a CC kill, but, uh, uh, you know, it's probably not something that's overly needed. Um, Sarah did a really good go wipe. Um, I'll just do a quick, uh, I'm going to speed this up, I'm trying to get through these quickly, um, so go wipe here, quad quake opens it up, uh, scouted this base, thought this base uh, could be three star with a go wipe, uh, this is Sarah I'm talking about, so deployed a go wipe with some pecker walking around the outside to clean out the trash buildings, and um, as go wipes go, pretty good, I think, I'm not an expert, but uh, was it a successful go wipe? Well, hell yes, uh, three stars, get got the job done. So we're a predominantly hogging clan, um, so I think
doing the odd go wipe when a base calls for it is pretty okay, uh, and uh, it's a nice it's a nice strategy to add to your skill set. Um, I don't like these people who put their fingers in their ears uh, and go la la la. I'm not going to even discuss a go wipe. I hate it. It's it's the the spawn of Satan, and is uh, you know it's just nonsense. If if a base is go wipeable, why not do it? Um, it's like if a base is uh, so you know, hoggable. Um, you, why would you go and uh, do a, rant, a full scale uh, goblin attack? It's you know, it's what suits the base best. But that's enough of me ranting. Um, you know, if you do listen carefully, you can probably still hear Remy whining about this go wipe attack. But uh, um, enough of that. But speed it up. It is done and dusted. And uh, good attack. Good scouting. Uh, nicely planned. And um, Oblivion, I'll show it, because uh, he is slowly and surely um, clearing out the hogging demons he was so renowned for. Uh, fantastic to see you've got rid of your uh, double double Asian walls uh, that uh, you uh, favoured a long time ago. But uh, this is a surgical hog um, deployment. And uh, the, the, I think the CC... Uh, kill goes a, a, a little bit awry because uh, he was expecting the poisons to kill this drag. I think they would have done. I think uh, the second poison was dropped too soon, and uh, so the, the effects didn't stack. Um, but he, you know, he, he deals with it on the fly, uh, a little bit messily, but you know, gets the job done, and it doesn't uh, uh, affect the raid too badly. Yeah, some people, some people, and I, myself included, have been known to panic when stuff like that happens. But it comes with experience that uh, uh, you know he dropped the BK to tank, and then the hogs come in in a sort of anti-clockwise fashion, um, and a little bit late on the CC hogs, I would say. But uh, it gets those heels in, and uh, just to show you how powerful a, a deployment this is, the surgical hogs, that uh, the giant bomb he missed is well, the heel expired, and a small group of hogs went over that giant bomb. Uh, if it was a finger, two finger drop or a single finger drop, all your hogs would have gone in that and they would have pro most likely have got uh, taken out and that would have been uh, game over. But because a small group with the surgical style of deployment hit that, um, it wasn't, uh, you know, the end of the, the, end of the, the raid. And uh, as you can see, he's got quite a number of hogs left over. Um, that BK, I'm sure he was a bit nerved uh, towards the end because that BK starts doing some sort of Rambo mission on uh, his pack of hogs that are doing the town hall but uh, I'll speed it up because as you can see it's a uh, it's a nice hog raid in the end and uh, an easy three stars but uh, yeah good job Oblivion keep it up and then finally I'm going to drop down the roster a little bit and uh, this is sort of me uh, saying well done to Levy because a um, little bit of back backstory on Levy. Um, he actually joined the clan with uh, Ben, Yorio, and Zerva uh, a long time ago, actually. But uh, we actually kicked him out of the clan because he was such a rushed uh, Town Hall 8. Um, and credit to him, he went away, uh, got his troops levels up, and uh, came back and frustrated the crap out of me for a while with his weird, weird-ass hybrid attacks. Um, but acknowledged that he was a bit uh, lacking in experience on attacks, went away, practiced, practiced, and practiced, and he's come back, and uh, as you can see from this, it's uh, looking promising. Uh, this is a, a hog raid um, that he's planned himself and uh, uh, executed. So all, all the hallmarks of a good hogger uh, are being demonstrated on this one. Um, so I'll speed it up. Gets his uh, double poison kill on the CC troops. Uh, probably hits a, as you can see, his first deployment hits this uh, random single giant bomb on the, on the east northern east side. Uh, so he probably drops this heel sooner than he would have liked. But uh, you know, nice to see he dropped it quite fast because that wizard tower would have really got rid of that pack very quickly. Um, I think two hits from a wizard tower after a fully healed hog pack uh, hits a giant bomb and that is done and dusted for your hogs. Uh, a lot of bacon flying around. So, um, yeah, 
late on the CC, I think that was a case of forgotten CC troops. Um, easily done. I did that so many times when I first started hogging this. So when you when you come up from the sort of grounds of uh, brain numbing. Um, monotony of dropping all your dragons from town hall seven and then you come up with a little come up to town hall eight and there's so many more moving parts very easy to forget uh, stuff like bk ability cc troops um but you know it comes with practice and experience and uh you know this is uh, a really good attack so well played well done levy please keep it up and uh good job for proving me wrong and um uh, three stars uh, well that is it um, probably didn't keep it as short and sweet as I would have liked but uh, all in all brilliant uh, war uh, just a quick note of the current war we're, we're facing uh, this is looking a lot tougher so guys I just want you to, uh, to, to put some real thought into your attacks don't get complacent and uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll sail through it but uh, keep it up guys everything's looking pretty sweet got a lot of new promising new members and um, yeah until the next video, take care of yourselves and thanks for watching.